we begin tonight with the tales of a possible major boost to Ohio's economy. Today, Honda and LG announced plans for a multi-billion dollar battery plant in the United States, and reports are the Buckeye State could be the spot. Lena Lai joined us now from the newsroom with a look at the race for this huge project. <laughs> Lena, good evening. Good evening, Russ. Yes, the Rust Belt's transformation is electric, if you will. Honda's plans to build a $4.4 billion electric vehicle battery plant, potentially in Ohio, has supercharged excitement over the state's future in EV. Remember eight years ago, there was talk about mass layoffs at Avon Lake's Ford plant, but this year, Ford announcing plans to invest $1.5 billion with 1,800 new jobs to build an all-new commercial EV. In Lordstown, three years after GM closed its plant, the debut of an all-electric tractor to be built at the facility. And then right down the road there, the new $2.3 billion Ultium battery plant, creating 1,100 new jobs, about to start production of batteries for GM's Hummer EV. Team NEO, which is the economic development nonprofit based locally here, explains why Ohio is so attractive to the EV industry. We're finding that we have this long history of manufacturing, we have a long history of R&D, and that we have, among other things, something super important to EV, which are, is land. Um, and so EV companies are looking for big swaths of land, big parcels of land, because usually the facility they build is on a large footprint. So tonight, industry analysts expect the Honda LG battery plant to be built near an existing auto plant for Honda. So in Ohio, that would be around Marysville in southern Ohio. Meanwhile, as for us here in northeast Ohio, Ford has updated its timetable for Avon Lake's expansion with the production of its EV commercial van around 2025, Russ. A $4.4 billion plant will certainly take that here in Ohio. <laughs> All right, Lena Lai in the newsroom. Thank you.